Hey, what's up team? It's your girl Brittany. So it's been a while since I came on here and made an actual video talking to you guys. Um, so <clears throat> everything that's been going on with my life and my situation, um, it's been difficult. It's been hard. It's been, uh, it's been a lot of ups and a lot of downs. Um, I don't understand why I'm going through this. I don't... I try to make myself believe that it's not happening. Just, like, everything is... It's just so... It's bizarre. It's crazy. It's just everything that was my biggest fear, and it's... I just, I keep saying it and, oh god. Everything has came to a crashing point in my life. Um, the only thing that I really got out of this was him teaching me exactly what I don't want in my next relationship if I decide to get into one. Um, I have been focusing more on myself. I got my hair done. Um, I just got it lightened. I got my hair done. I have been getting out of the house. I have been going out. Um, I have been hanging out with family. Uh, not really too much into friends. Um, but I have been really just getting myself together with, like, my mindset. You know, sometimes I catch myself getting emotional and I stop myself um, because I'm not getting emotional what he's doing anymore. I'm getting emotional from just everything in my life. So, like, it's kind of out in the open now, and a lot of people are finding out of why I'm not wearing my ring anymore. Um, and today I was speaking to um, a guy when I was dropping my son off for school, and he works over here at the 7 Eleven. Um, and we were just talking about. Um, it was nothing flirtatious or anything. We were just talking about the school and the classrooms and stuff like that and the teachers. Um, but my neighbors, because we were like right outside my apartment because he lives down the street. And people were just coming outside looking like, are you serious? You know, like, is she talking to somebody? Or, you know, just, it's a very weird situation that I'm like, got him in I guess I don't know but uh, I'm alive I'm breathing I'm I don't know I'm just kind of here I was on the phone with my mom for about two hours and I just got off the phone with her and we were just talking uh, because I finally told him today um, he randomly popped up, and mind you, I haven't seen him in about three weeks since he came back from that New York trip. Well, coming to find out, he never really went to New York. He lied about that. He actually went to, um, Cancun, Mexico. Yeah. Uh, and he's still lying about that, but I found that out, and he's still denying that, but... Yeah, so him and her went to Cancun, Mexico, which he's never taken me, so, uh, you know, either she fucking paid for it or, oh, and, uh, he made sure he bought himself a brand new 2019 Challenger, um, you know, gold watches and necklaces and shit like that, so, you know, he's putting his, he's making this, um, look about himself, something that he's not, so, you know, whatever. He told me today. Now, 
I have not been contacting him at all. I have been keeping to myself. If he texts my phone, I ignore it. He's still denying that he's cheating. He's still denying where he's living. Um, and... You know... I really thought there was a point that my son was lying. And I feel like he's getting back at his dad for not being here. But... There's just too many incidences that are happening. It just don't add up. So I have really no choice but to believe what I feel within myself. So, um, anyways, what's, um, today? Well, now, the last three days, um, I have not been saying anything to him. I haven't been responding back to his text messages. He's been texting me, I love you, I miss you, are you okay, I haven't heard from you, you're not texting me back. He's even pulled this help me card, like something's wrong with me, help me for me to respond back to him, you know. Um, and I told myself the only time I would respond back is if he asked about his son. So, after three days, he said, how's Treasure? And I told him, I said... He's great. Uh, I said, but honestly, don't ask me how he's doing. You clearly don't give a shit. I said I would respond. I didn't say how I would respond, but I said I responded, okay? After that, um, he said he was coming home today for once. And I don't know if it's just guilt or feeling stupid or what, but he can't even look me in my face. If you're not doing everything that I have accused you of doing, you would be able to look me in my face, right? You can't even do that. So. I don't know. Everything is just. I don't know. It's just weird. It's like. I'm really looking at my life, and. I just can't believe that this is happening to me. Like. Out of all people like me, I guess, you know, I, I just, I really, I have bad luck, I guess. My last relationship, I was young and stupid, had a teenage relationship. It was for about, shit, three years. It was either three years? Was it three years or four years? Maybe three years. It was for three years. Yeah, because 16, 17, 18, 19, three years, met him 20, yeah, so about three years. And um, he was living with me, and I would work, and he would sit his ass home. Well, coming to find out, he was, you know, he was very abusive. Coming to find out, the last time he put his hands on me, I told him to get out, and I stuck to my word. Well, you know, finding out that every time he left the house, he was going, he got somebody pregnant, and he was in another relationship, yeah, so he had a baby behind my back, so, you know, after that relationship, I gave it a long time, it took me a while to just get myself back together again, you know what, I don't think was I 18? I don't know. I don't know. I knew I was young. Maybe 17. Yeah, maybe I was 17. Because it took me quite a few years just to get myself together again. And like, yeah. So, anyways. Um, I haven't spoken to him. Uh, today he pops in completely walks past me, acts like he doesn't see me. I'm in our son's room cleaning it, and uh, he just picks the dog up and is talking to the dog. Gets ready and goes to the gym, and I go grocery shopping. I'm telling him, like, you know, what are you about to do? You're at the gym. He said he wants to see his son. Then he has to leave again, so, okay, well... I finally told him 
uh, you know, our son needs a father figure in his life, you know, to put him in his place. He's been acting out in school. Um, and, you know, he got pretty offensive to that. And I'm like, he needs a male figure in his fucking life. You feel me? Like, I cannot do everything. And he tries to throw it back in my face. Well, you never had a dad. Obviously, I never had a fucking dad, dipshit. That's why I am the way that I am with a man the way you are. Because I don't know what a real man is. So, come on now. Like, you don't need to point that. And it's like, yeah, bro, your dad's still in fucking prison. You've never had a dad neither. So, why are you acting the way your dad treated you? You know what I mean? It's like, I tried to show you what a real family was and try to give you that respect to not cheat on you I was I was never disloyal to you and you turn around and fuck me over in the worst way fucking possible and you don't even have the respect to tell me the truth but at the end of the day when he lays his head down at night he has to think of everything that he's been doing and that's gonna be on him it's not on me no more Anyways, I'm sorry this video was so long. I haven't talked to you guys for quite some time now, and I'm just kind of rambling on because I finally feel like making a video. I actually got a new phone, by the way. Um, I'm in the iPhone category now, so I'm kind of excited about it, but I feel like normal because like everyone has flipping iPhones. I've always had like LG, Android, stuff like that, and it was just, it just kind of sucked. So now I feel like kind of cool, you know? But, uh, yeah. Oh, anyways, uh, what I was saying real fast was today, um, so he took him. He said, fine, I'll take him with me. As soon as my son walks back in the house, he says, he took me back to the same house. And I told him, I don't want to hear nothing about it. Well, as soon as I heard that, it pissed me the hell off. So I reposted the Yelp review that I posted and that got him to talk. And uh, I was talking to my mom for about two hours on the phone and I finally was like, you know what? I am not, he, well, he told me that, well, back it up a little bit. He told me just leave me alone and I said every time I leave you alone you always contact me first I miss you I love you what are you doing blah 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 so he said fine I won't just leave me alone and I said okay you want me to leave you alone he said yes okay fine I won't text you I won't contact you wish is fucking granted I deleted the damn Yelp review I deleted your phone number, I blocked your phone number, now you're not going to be able to contact me, I'm not going to be able to contact you, like, we're done. You feel me? Now I know, like, for sure, for sure, like, we're fucking done. That was it. If he needs to know about his son, he can come walking through that door. I gave him the house key back, because he didn't have a house key for a while. I gave him the house key back. He could walk in here and check on his son whenever the fuck he wants to. Between him and I, there's no more. So, your girl's single, what's up? Just kidding. I'm not looking for nothing. But seriously, uh, I'm going to get another job and I'm going to start looking for another job while my son's in school so I can work seven days a week instead of five. Well, that'll make no sense. Well, no. Right now I'm like four to five days and then like I'm full time manager here. But I was just going to get like get like a full-time job like maybe like three more days a week just to so I work a total of seven days a week so I can just start paying everything by myself and just he can get out you know what I mean I was actually thinking about going to Walmart and getting some containers and just putting all his shit in there because he's never here anyway so I need some closet space you know what I mean I've been putting all my shit on in the drawers, try to be respectful to him because he has more shit, but I'm like, nah. I could just take all your shit out the closet, put it into fucking containers, and you can sort through it whenever the fuck you decide to pop in and out, you know. <sighs> I don't know. I know it's like, 
It's confusing. It's really confusing, I guess. I was getting a little emotional on the phone, but with my mom. And, you know, I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but one thing that I was telling my mom was if he was just honest with me, if he would just sit there and tell me the truth, like, yes, I've been seeing somebody else who are not working out, or even if he's not seeing somebody else, like, you know, it's not going to work, like, we just need to go our separate ways, just sit down and have a face-to-face -face conversation with me, I wouldn't yell, I wouldn't scream, I wouldn't throw hands, like, I would sit there and be quiet, try to be quiet, and I would just, you know what, okay, I would take that very maturely instead of sitting up here lying to me. I hate liars, dude. That is something that I fucking hate is liars, bro. Like, you lie to me, you lie to me, you lie to me. That pisses me off because then you're looking at me like I'm stupid. And that's something like, yeah, my actions might be stupid because I'm sticking around. But, like, I'm not stupid. I do have a brain. I'm not dumb. Like, you know, I just hate liars. I hate liars I don't lie I hate liars to me there's just really no reason to lie and that's just how I feel there's no reason to lie you shouldn't be lying especially to me like I'm like I don't know a lot of people are like scared to talk to me or get nervous around me because they think I'm a certain way and that's like really not the truth I think you guys know me just on a personal level like more than other people know me. Because I like really sit down and talk to you guys like people that know me like a lot of people are scared to talk to me and tell me like openly. But I'm like a really cool person you know. I don't know if I come off as a bitch or stuck up or whatever but I don't know. I'm not stuck up. I don't live in a mansion. I'm not, like... I like money, obviously. I don't think... I think everyone likes money, but... I don't like Gucci glasses or, like... My name brand purses, like, before people or... Money before people, you know? It's like... I don't care about that kind of shit. I want love, I want loyalty, I want respect. No. Oh. I know I've been talking, it's been 18 minutes now. Um, if you guys have made it all the way to the video, I really appreciate it. I know I'm just kind of rambling on, uh, but I don't know, I just thought I'd pop on here and let you guys know what's been going on. Um, I really appreciate my new subscribers. I've seen that I had, um, quite a bit of new subscribers so I'm pretty pumped about that and I really appreciate you guys for sticking around um, there is a promotion code in my last video there's five dollars off your lift ride if you guys need a lift um, they're much better than uber in my opinion uber's a little funky and they don't speak English lift is more of an American mixture of things um, but yeah they gave me a promotion code to give you guys and there it is so if you guys put in um that promotion code i think it's like team 1867 or it was it's something like that um yeah if you just put it into your lift ride you guys get five dollars off your next lift ride um and there is a 500 subscriber giveaway to three people and i'm not a cheap person i will put thought into three gifts for you guys um, and, yeah, if you guys talk, I talk back, comment down below and let me know what kind of content you guys want me to do, and now I have this new phone, so I don't feel stupid vlogging in person, I'll probably get like a little thing, I don't know how to work a camera at all, I have a camera and I don't know how to work it, I don't know how to charge it, I don't know, I don't know how to do anything, I try to Google but I'm just not. This is easier for me. So now I have an iPhone and I feel kind of cool. So I feel like old, but I do feel kind of cool like rocking an iPhone, even though like 
it's, I'm probably not that cool, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, um, yeah, until next video, if you're not already subscribed, please do so, um, and be a part of my team. Um, yeah, leave comments down below, please, no negativity. If you do, that's fine, I can handle it, but, I mean, I've already heard everything from dipshit over here. Anyways, you guys, until next video, I love you so much and please comment down below what kind of content I should do on my channel I wanted to do the 2x challenge again oh, that shit was hot I've been seeing people do it and they can't make it through so I knew I wasn't tripping but yeah alright you guys until next video peace